Hi, I'm Em, and welcome back to the Nate You Up vlog. So this is actually take two of filming this because um, after filming the whole vlog, I realized most of my whips were out of frame. So here we go again. Let's hope that I got this right. I tested out a bunch of different framing. <laughs> so let's hope this is better and I don't have to record this again for a third time. Let's hope that second time's the charm. Anyway. <laughs> Episode two is here. Um, I want to start off by saying a big thank you to everybody who watched the first vlog and the mini vlog and everybody who shared, everybody who liked it, everybody who commented. Um, I appreciate you all immensely, especially to those who hit subscribe on YouTube. There were a handful of you. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's really nice to have people come and watch and interact and Hopefully you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed making it. I want to keep making them for you. Hopefully this just gets better and better. Um, so thanks for joining me on this and uh, hitting subscribe, sharing, commenting, all of that stuff. I appreciate you so much. I was so nervous to put out the first vlog because it's so different to what I normally do, like talking at length to a camera and then putting that out on the internet for anybody to see. Kind of scary, but you all gave me such a warm welcome into the vlogging world, so I'm really happy that I jumped in. With all that said, thank you for tuning back in for episode two. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, happy to have you. I hope you enjoy this next episode. If you do, please give this a like give me, a, or rather hit subscribe wherever it is on your screen. <laughs> um, I really do appreciate it. And like I said, I would love to build up a community here on Instagram. No, nope, here on YouTube, like we have on Instagram. So let's get into the episode. Um, I only have one finished object to show you and I don't even have it physically here with me. It was a gift knit. So it is off in its new home, but I will put a picture up. Hopefully editing Emmy has done this correctly. <laughs> um, speaking of editing and putting things up on the screen, I listened to your comments. I got a handful saying that it was difficult to read last time. So hopefully whatever I decide to do this time is better. Please shoot me a comment. Um, not shoot me, I guess that's shoot me an email. Please leave a comment <laughs> if this works better or if you have a different suggestion. Um, at the time of filming, I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but you'll see it here. Hopefully it's a lot more legible. Anyway, so my FO, my finished object was a North Shore beanie worsted for my mom. This is actually the first North Shore beanie that she's received from me, which is crazy because I think I've knit myself like four or five? I think four is correct. Um, this is my own pattern. And um, even though it sounds really biased, it's one of my favorite hat patterns that I've ever knit. Um, it's a two by two rib and it's so meditative. It's perfect to throw in your bag and take with you to work, to school, to appointments, when you're traveling, just because you don't really have to think about it too much until you get to the crown decrease. So it is definitely one of my favorite hat patterns that I've knit. It sounds really biased. I promise it's not. Um, I first released it as a sport slash light DK weight pattern back in 2019, which I didn't realize it was so long ago, but that's when it first came out. And then about two years ago, I released the worsted weight version of the pattern. They come together as a set. So when you buy one, you buy both. Um, and I didn't change the price on the pattern. The price stayed the same. It's a two for one. I just 
wanted to provide options, so now you get them. I'll have it linked uh, below on two different um, databases that you can purchase them from. I knit it using um, Stand This Garn Borstet Alpaca, which is this really beautiful brushed alpaca blend. Put it up on the screen like what it's actually composed of. Um, it is listed as a bulky weight, but I don't think that's totally accurate. Um, it worked really well for this. I did have to buy two skeins because I used one full skein plus three grams. It was annoying. <laughs> Definitely uh, not great in terms of yarn usage for this particular yarn. Um, for my mom, I made the size medium of the North Shore Beanie Worsted. So that's just something to keep in mind if you do decide to make your own. If you're making a medium or a large size and you're, you want to use this yarn, you will have to buy two. As annoying as that is, but hey, I tested it out so you don't have to. You can go in with that knowledge now. Um, it turned out really well. It fits my mom perfectly. Uh, she does have some wool allergies, which is why I wanted to try the Borset Alpaca because Alpaca seems to be less of an irritant for her. And so far it's been great. She hasn't had a reaction to it and that is exactly what I was aiming for. So I was just really happy to be able to knit her something that fits her perfectly and that she likes. And this color is so cute as you can see in the photo. Like, look at that. It's, it's perfect. Um, <laughs> perfect for her. So that is actually the only finished object that I have to show you. February was, February was kind of a weird month. There were a lot of changes in my personal life, mostly really good changes, except there was two weeks where first my partner was sick and then I was sick and no knitting got done. So that's why I feel like I don't have that much to show you. Even though I actually do, I have a lot of whips to show you, but I don't have a ton of progress to show you. Um, and I don't have that many finished objects. And I know it's not about how many finished objects you can get and everybody knits at their own pace and everybody has different levels of available time to knit. But um, I was hoping to have a couple more FOs to show you, but you know, life had other plans. So here we are. Um, that said, I do have a lot of whips to show you. So let's get into it. First whip is one that you may remember from last time. It is my modified Somme cardigan. I think I should always have these more ready and then I just throw them in a pile on the table in front of me and then it's a bit of a mess. So I apologize, <laughs> but my Somme cardigan, I did actually make some progress on this. It doesn't look like I did. But you may remember last time I said progress was going really, really well, but then it stopped because I knit the sleeve too wide. So I finally took the time to take the sleeve apart and try something new. Originally I'd picked up 60 stitches. Again, I'm modifying this, so I'm not like following the numbers of the pattern. I'm just kind of following the general instructions of the pattern. So I've been just totally winging the sleeves, to be completely honest. And the first time around, I picked up 60 stitches. This time I've picked up 50 and that is so much better. It's a lot slimmer of a fit through the arm, which matches the slim fit of the body. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. I just haven't totally gotten a ton of work. I mean, I did, I re-knit the sleeve and it's almost at the point where I can add the cuff. I've been doing some decreases. So it's almost, it's really close to being finished, the first arm. Um, but I basically did all of that in one day and then haven't touched it since. And that's just because I have another project, which you'll see later that I've been more excited about. That's okay by me. There's no rush to get this done. 
Um, I just want to take my time and enjoy it and it hasn't gotten a lot of time lately and that's okay. But there was that progress so that feels good. <sighs> that's such a bad thumbs up. Does anybody else feel kind of like a dad when they give a thumbs up? It's like, good job, sport. You go, buddy. Anyway, I'm really rambly today. Um, it's, <laughs> it's actually probably a blessing for you guys that the first filming of this vlog did not work out because I was so rambly. Um, I do have some notes that I'm following in terms of like things that I want to talk about, but I don't like scripting the whole thing because that feels too stilted to me. The downside is that you get these long rambly trains of thought where my brain just kind of goes and my mouth tries to keep up. <laughs> anyway, next up is a whip that I discussed last time and I don't have very much progress to show you. It is the baby blanket that I was working on. Yes, I do have a pained expression on my face because somewhere, I think like four rows back, I made a mistake and I didn't catch on and like this is the area where I've messed up and you can see it. It's just, it's a mess. And I haven't had the energy or the brain space to tink back. Yes, tink back, not frog back. I don't trust myself to just frog it or even to put in a lifeline. I'm gonna have to do this the long hard way. I just haven't had the available brain space for that. Um, and you may be thinking, but Em, you're on a deadline. You need this finished for April. <laughs> that deadline has left the building. The little baby that I am knitting this for decided to come over a month early and he's doing great. I love that he's here. We're so excited, but <laughs> it does mean that um, his blanket is not finished and it likely won't be finished anytime soon. And that's okay. Now that I don't have a deadline, I feel like I will be able to knit this at a better pace for me in terms of not making mistakes because the mistakes are what really slow me down. Like I have not worked on this for over a week because I know that I have to take this back. And that is, again, just something that I haven't had the brain space for. So that slows me down a lot in terms of progress on getting this done. So now that I don't feel stressed about getting it done within a certain timeline, I will be able to actually probably get this finished up faster than it would take me if I was rushing. As the saying goes, um, oh, how does the saying go? Slow is good and good is fat? No. I can't remember. So, not a lot of progress on this one. There will be, hopefully, this week. Um, as in the week that I'm filming this, not the week that this goes live, but hopefully <laughs> I'll be able to get this mistake sorted out soon so I can get back to knitting on it because I do actually really enjoy knitting it and I love seeing the lace pattern grow. Um, it's just that dumb mistake, especially because I don't know where I made the mistake. So I'm going to have to take out like probably eight rows. We'll just I'll put you down for now. On a brighter note, I have an update. This is another whip that I talked about in the last episode, but at that point it was getting frogged. It is frogged no longer, or rather it was frogged and now it's cast on again. You may remember that I made a custom sweater quantity order from the Yarn Attic Co, who is now the Little Fiber Co. These are the yarns. I didn't show you the yarn last time because I was in the process of frogging the sweater, but here you can see it in all its glory. This is evergreen and driftwood, alpaca, mohair, so soft and squishy. 
And um, I have finally decided on a pattern that I'm actually gonna follow. <laughs> Previously, I was kind of using a pattern, but I was more using it um, for the instruction on a saddle shoulder construction more than anything. Um, so I wasn't on gauge. I was loosely following the numbers and that was okay, except that the instructions actually weren't very clear for <laughs> the shoulder increases and I was really struggling. And then this pattern that I'm using now was released. This is the Rue sweater. I think that's how it's pronounced. It'll be up on the screen so you can see it and there'll be a link in the description so you can see the pattern listing and all of the details. Um, I don't think I'm on gauge. Didn't do a gauge swatch, that's okay. <laughs> I did size up from normal because the pattern is written with very little positive ease and I wanted it to have a little bit more room. So I sized up just one size um, and I'm loving it. It's knit on a smaller size needle than I had been using. And the marling on this slightly denser fabric is so gorgeous. And I think there's actually a little bit more of a mohair halo showing, halo showing up um, on this fabric as well. And I love that. I am so in love with how the colors are coming together. It looks great, it's so soft, and the instructions in the pattern are so well written. Um, so I will definitely be <laughs> buying more patterns in the future from Rebecca. In fact, I think I already know which one will be my next one. Probably not until winter because spring is on its way, it's time to start sort of shifting into summer knitting. But in the winter, I think I will probably purchase her Lauder pattern. It's got a crew neck, v neck, pullover option, a cardigan option, and a vest option. So it's delicious all over cables. I think I'm gonna love it. That's on the docket for <laughs> maybe winter, we'll see. I have so much knitting planned, honestly. I'm just in this like, influx of creativity and it's great except that I'm not a fast knitter <laughs> so it's taking me a long time to get through things and I just keep adding things to my to knit list oh I need to slow down but anyway <clears throat> all of that to say Rebecca makes really nice well-written patterns and I can see myself knitting more of her designs in the future so far really loving how this one is coming out I will not be doing the color work on this sweater. Um, this will just be a single, well, not single color, because it's two, but it'll be a solid fabric instead of a color work fabric. Um, and yeah, it looks like I don't have that much progress done because it's at the same place that the sweater was at when I showed you last time but I did take it all apart and cast it all back on and get this far. So there is actually quite a lot of progress. Um, it just doesn't seem like it, but I'm very excited. I haven't been knitting on this lately because I have a different sweater that I want to get done um, because like I said, spring is on its way. This one's gonna be a little bit too warm with that mohair to really wear by the time it's finished. So it's kind of been set aside, but I am really loving it, really looking forward to getting back to it. Um, very excited to get it finished up. Okay, next up is something that you should all recognize if you watched the mini episode that I put out. It's my Boucle Averro sweater. And yes, I am wearing my very first Aviro sweater as well. That's a happy accident today. Um, I do really love this one. I wore it to Knit City in 2019 and got so many compliments and it's beautiful. I love the colors that I ended up picking and it started off this whole Aviro obsession. It's a great pattern. It's a great sweater. I love how boxy it is. Um, and that's why I knew as soon as I envisioned a cream boucle sweater, I knew it had to be an Aviro. Um, so it's a solid one. 
Uh, there's no stripes on this one. Um, and I love it. It's turning out so great. Um, it now has sleeves and a collar that is correct. Well, actually it's not correct. I fudged the numbers, but it lays correctly. There's none of that puckering that you might've seen. Um, I posted about it on Instagram and on YouTube shorts. Um, got that fixed up. So it's fitting great. Now all I have to work on is the body. And this is the only thing that I really want to knit right now. It's bringing me so much joy. It's so enjoyable. I love working on it with my first cup of coffee in the morning with the cat snoring on his chair. Like it's just the perfect project for me right now in this moment. I'm so happy that I cast it on and I can't wait to wear it. Um, you will definitely see it in the next vlog episode. I will probably wear it so you'll be able to see it in real time. Um, but that vlog is obviously going to be quite a ways away. So if you want to see it before then, hop on over to Instagram and give me a follow there. Instagram will be the first to see the finished object photos. So you should go follow. That was so cheesy. Oh my God. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> don't know what's going on up here. It's all good. Anyway, I don't have that much to say about this because again, it got its own dedicated YouTube video. So you basically, if you want info on the yarn and everything like that, I will link it somewhere. <laughs> you will see it pop up. I still don't really know the ins and outs of YouTube yet. I'm learning as we go but I will put a little pop-up link somewhere up top. <laughs> Man, thanks for listening along to this huge ramble. I'm so sorry. Maybe next time I will script it a little better. Um, all that to say, really loving it. Got to weave in all these ends. Really looking forward to getting it off the needles and um, on my body because it's turning out so great. <laughs> I have one more whip to show you, and it is using the leftover Borsta Talpaca. Um, it is, let me just untangle it. Here we go. This is the Simple Thing Shawl. Yes, it's very similar to a very popular pattern right now. Um, Without going into too much detail, um, the designer of that popular pattern is one who has not historically had a very size inclusive range in their pattern designs. And there have been many people in my knitting community online who have been asking people not to support that pattern designer. So I'm following along with that up to you whether or not you decide to do that. But that's where I stand on the matter. And um, yeah, so I wanted a similar scarf and I just happily found this one on Ravelry. It's a free download. Doesn't get much better than that. I am knitting it off gauge. I'm knitting it again with Borsted Alpaca, which is listed as bulky, but I think it's more of a worsted slash Aran. I'm knitting on five millimeter needles. Um, but that's the great thing about a pattern like this is it's super simple construction. It's going to work for any gauge. Honestly, you just have to be aware of how your gauge affects your yarn consumption. But again, you can make it as small or as big as you want. You can use as much or as little yarn as you want. So it's a really great pattern, super simple as the name implies, and it's a free download. Doesn't get much better than that. Um, I haven't made a ton of progress on this because it is sort of my throat in a bag out and about project and I haven't been out and about a lot lately. <laughs> I've really been uh, living up to the home buddy title for sure. Um, but I am enjoying it. Really easy thing to work on and just pick up and do a couple rows here and there. Um, yeah. Really like the texture that this yarn and needle combo is giving. I think it really highlights the soft fuzziness of the yarn. And 
it's enjoyable. It's just a little something something to throw in my bag when I go out, so can't complain. So that is everything I have to show you today. Um, I have placed some more yarn orders. I know, I know I'm not supposed to, especially since I have some fiber festivals coming up in the summer that I will be attending. So not the smartest decision on my part, but they're beautiful. I will show you when they arrive. Um, but in terms of finished objects and whips, that's everything I have to show you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too rambly. <laughs> Please hit subscribe, give this video a like, drop a comment. All of it helps. It truly does. I know it sounds silly to say, and I know you have everybody saying the same thing, but that's because it does actually make a difference. Um, I will have things linked in the description box. You can go find all of the patterns that I talked about. Um, and I will link my Ravelry project pages as well. So you can check out the yarn and everything like that. Um, feel free to give me a follow over on Instagram. That's where I do most of my online interaction and posting. Um, I am trying to uh, do some more stuff here on YouTube as well, as you've seen with um, the recent mini vlog and uh, the shorts that I published. Um, I was about to say short, but I think it is just called shorts. Um, <laughs> I'm, I don't have enough knitting. Again, I'm a slow knitter, so I don't actually have enough to do like a full length vlog episode every two weeks. So I'm trying to pepper in like mini vlogs and shorts just to give you guys some consistency in posting while also giving me enough time to actually make enough um, progress on projects to give you a full length episode. But if you want even more frequent posting, definitely hop over to Instagram and give me a follow there. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Really hope you enjoyed it. I think I said that earlier, but I really do hope that you enjoy these uh, vlogs. I really enjoy making them. I love watching other people's vlogs. So hopefully <laughs> I've provided a little bit of fun and enjoyment in your week. Um, yeah, that is basically everything I have to say. I always feel awkward kind of ending these. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. Like I'll figure out my thing. But for now, I'll just say that I hope I see you next time and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.